the entire architecture of the arm is changed. There's a heaviness and fullness to the upper arm compared to on the other side. It's called lymphedema, and it affects breast cancer survivors in the arm or on the side where they had treatment. Women live in fear of developing this condition because currently we have no way of curing lymphedema, and so it can progress and become a lifelong and debilitating condition. Ready to go? I'm ready. Feeling all right? I feel good. All right. Breast cancer survivor Marie McCrone doesn't want lymphedema, so she is lifting weights at her local YMCA. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck, good. Until recently, Marie and many other breast cancer survivors were told to restrict their movement in the arms and on the sides where they were treated. You want to be able to go on with your life. You don't want to be constantly thinking about always using your arm, because then it just makes that survivor thing ever present in your mind. Dr. Katherine Schmitz from the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine and co-authors conducted a randomized trial of 154 breast cancer survivors without clinical signs of lymphedema who had at least two lymph nodes removed. The women were divided into two groups. Over the course of a year, one group lifted weights twice a week. The others did not. Women who did the weight training were less likely to have increases in arm swelling than women who did not do the weight training. The study is being published online first by JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, to coincide with its presentation at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. We need to erase the idea that women should rest, take it easy, and uh, not move during and after treatment. And we need to refer women for evaluation of any arm and shoulder problems and get them moving. Being healthy all promotes survival. So if you can live longer and prevent lymphedema at the same time, then that's really a, a double win. Good job. Okay, Good job. thanks. All right, see you later. Okay, bye. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.